F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews for friend request friends to watch 1997 LA confidential now we want to give a big shout out to pig over on patreon for requesting this movie man so far the patreon requests have been nothing but amazing they've been hitting what we had about five requests i'll say about four out of five you know what i'm saying <laughs> good four out of five that's a hell of uh, a hell of a batting average so right. I'm, I'm i'm expecting this one to be to be good uh 1997 so old older flick so you know they usually they usually do their thing and then on top of that this kind of title kind of reminds me of la noor a video game so hopefully we kind of going back into like some throwback little setting so i'm i'm excited for this one man so formal. How about you? How you feel about going into this uh to this movie quest? I feel great, man. Like you said, they y'all been knocking it out the park with these requests, man. So we appreciate uh you know all the support and all the love that y'all been giving us with these requests. And I'm ready to hop into it cuz this is just a, another one that, you know, probably would have just went under my radar if it wasn't for creating this channel. Um I think when I clicked on it, I saw Robert De Niro. So I think, I think, I could be wrong, but um, so far, Robbie D hasn't let us down with his old. I, I'm a fan. I, I like most of his stuff that I've seen him, seen him in, but this older stuff has been great too. So, if it is, let's get it, man. I'm ready. So we're not gonna hold you here any longer. We're just gonna dive right into this movie, yo. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Okay, the goal is 10k. Only way we gotta get there though is you click that button, also click that bell. So you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go, LA. Here. All right, this is a long one. It's two hours, so I got my snacks, man. I got my gushers. It's definitely two hours. Got the I gushers. Smacking some. And I got my stale Oreos, bro. <laughs> Whenever you got a pack of Oreos, you should always open it. Just let it go stale. <laughs> Bright, the beaches are wide and inviting, and oh, the shit, that's Danny DeVito? For real, I'm like, hold up, Matilda. There are jobs. I was about to pull a form and be like, put the I, the, the house, and inside every house, a happy okay, Kevin Spacey. all American family. Yeah. You can have all this, okay. and who hey. knows? Guy Pierce. Who the hell is Guy Pierce? <laughs> Sky pitch. Well, I ain't see Robert De Niro at all. <laughs> I lied. Yeah, you were looking at the wrong person. Remember, uh, dear readers, you heard it here first. Poor news. Off the record, on the QT, and very hush, hush. <laughs> okay. This man was TMZ back in the day. I like it. I like it. I like the beginning. God. Officer Bud White. Russell Crowe, I was just, I just saw you yesterday. Damn, he's going so hard. Damn, he just pushed her ass over like she felt like a Tubi actress. <laughs> Who in the hell are you? Ghost of Christmas past. Oh. Uh, here to kick your ass. Hmm. Smart ass. Oh. Yup. Oh. Oh. Yup. Hit him with a QTE combo. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh, now you're in handcuffs. It's a result. You'll be out in a year and a half. I'll get cozy with your parole officer. You touch her again, I'll have you violated on a kitty raper beef. Damn. Damn. <gasps> you know what they do to kitty rapers in Quentin. Huh. Ooh. Hmm. You going to San Quentin, huh? Who's that to her, though? Is that his, like, sister or something? 
That's her man. Is this just a... Merry Christmas, huh? Merry Christmas, man. Let's go, bud. The guys will be waiting. Bye. Is this how they used to do policing back in the days? <laughs> You just pull what year up. Is this? See you see shit? the you see the whip they in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what year is this in? Uh gotta walk and talk like a cop. Okay, there goes Spacey. I will have to suggest maybe the Well that's because he's the television version. America isn't ready for the real me. Yeah, is it true you're the one who arrested Bob Mitchum? Jack Vincent. Yeah. May I have this dance? Of course. Uh Karen, this is Sid Hutchins from Hush Hush magazine. Damn, DeVito was really that short? Come on now. What's that about? Uh, we did a piece last year on Janu Dykes in Hollywood. Her name got mentioned. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I do you up nice feature next issue. Plus usual 50 cash. No, I need another 50. Two 20s for two patrolmen and a dime for the watch commander at Hollywood Station. Mm. Jackie, it's Christmas. No, it's not. It's felony possession of marijuana. Hmm. <laughs> That's... Ed Sergeant Ed Exley, son okay, of the legendary damn. Preston Exley, must be a hard act to follow. This dude must have been the guy back in the day because he's in man movies. We heard two officers were assaulted this evening. What do you think about that? It goes with the job. But I took the report and luckily they're okay. Captain Smith. Oh, drop the formalities, Bobby. It's mm. Christmas Eve. Call me Dudley. Merry Christmas. What's this okay, guy? They got the coquito. You know it. I saw the test results on the lieutenant's exam. First out of 23. He's in so many movies, and I don't even that? know this guy's name. Patrol Division and Journal Affairs? What? I was thinking Detective Bureau. Detective? You're a political animal. You have the eye for human weakness, but not the stomach. Mm. Would you be willing to plant corroborative evidence on a suspect you knew to be guilty in order to ensure an indictment? Dudley, we've been over this. Yes or no, Edmund? No. Would you be willing to beat a confession out of a suspect you knew to be guilty? No. no. Man, you ain't built for this. Would you be willing to shoot a hardened criminal in the back in order to offset the chance that some lawyer... No. Then, for the love of God, don't be a detective. Hmm. Stick to assignments where you don't have to make those kind of choices. But I don't need to do it the way you did. Or my father. Hmm. At least get rid of the glasses. I can't think of a single man in the bureau who wears them. Damn. <laughs> Said not one. He got the doubles, too, it looked like. Oh, he got the double brim on them hoes. Why did it sound like they dubbed his his lines? Like I don't know, but I forgot all the sergeants' names already, bro. I hate myself. Need a delivery. Casey, Joe, Jim, Rum, Scotch. That sounds like a hell of a party, Lynn. I'll be right with you. Damn, who's this mysterious? Little Black Ooh. Riding Hood. Don't be creepy, bro. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, officer. That obvious, huh? <laughs> it's practically stamped on your forehead. Damn. <laughs> it's that cut. That's what it Facts. is. <laughs> she like, damn, you ain't want to holler? Damn. Mm. 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 It look like he, see, he don't like the domestic abu abuse. Oh, that's this cat. I know that dude. Yep. I seen that dude. See what he wants, Puss. Ah! <laughs> Yo. Damn. Damn. Get your fucking arm down. Damn, he ripped his pockets. Cut me some slack. <laughs> this is where Sopranos got it from, huh? <laughs> you okay? She's fine. I'm not asking you, sir. Hmm, ain't even look at your face. You got the wrong idea, mister. I'm fine. But it's nice to know you care. This man don't play about the DV. What, he grew up watching his dad beat on his moms or Can some shit? Definitely possible. Facts. It's crazy, though, how you can just <laughs> pull up on somebody like that. Like, I used to be a cop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruh, everybody who <laughs> DeVito is not this short, bro. No, he's, he's that not. short and he came out no, the bushes. Not. Like, where the fuck was he? Where was he? Perspective, camera angles. 
Come That's these what I'm motherfuckers thinking they is playing. peeping um. <laughs> Or is this oh this is a movie. Okay, production. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. I got my family coming out tomorrow. That's nice what he Christmas. was doing. Right, Tammy. Is that is that the reason why the audio sounds like that? Because that's how they used to do movies? Christmas is a joy. Fleur de lis. And while decent citizens uh, sleep gee, like Did you see that? that? That shit look terrible. That's that DR we. That's exactly what DR we look like, bro. Hey, Jack. Hollywood Jack. What brings you to our humble hey, station house? Hey, man, how are you, Harry? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, you know me. I'm keeping the streets safe, boys. All right, take hmm. these two and get them dressed and book them. What the f Yeah, yeah, it's real. They like reporters or something. So they <laughs> wait. Yeah. I was confused wait, for a second too, no, but that's That why was just... not real. <laughs> yeah, that's why I had to shut up because I'm like, let me just pay attention no, to what's happening. Don't shut up. Say something next time. I'm that's... fucking lost. <laughs> yeah, they're like reporters or whatever. Like... Bro, they just literally just fucking filmed their ass. Damn. Oh. Uh, what the hell the illegal? Six, six, six Mexicans, sir. Yep. The ones who Look assaulted Brown and Helenowski. Yeah, I heard Helenowski lost six pints of blood and Brown's in a coma. Damn. They probably just snatched up some random motherfucking Mexicans, like. Yep. They brought the Mexicans in. They're downstairs. Oh, shit. Yep. And these motherfuckers is drunk. You feel me? That shit just made me take a deep breath. Like, oh, oh. talking about they downstairs. This doesn't he the boy continue. scout. They like fuck you. Hi guys, haven't you got work to do? Oh, these are the reporters though. They shouldn't do this right here. He might. Mmm. As you saying Ooh. that. Go. Look, go. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. Hey, wife, you better put a leash on your partner before he kills somebody. Let me through. Mm. Leave me alone, Pity, do nothing. What are you looking at? Oh, what are you looking at? Come on, what the? Mm. Hitting him with the belly whacker, like yeah, for real. Hey, hey, hey! Come on. Don't break it up. She got too much. Get back, get back. <laughs> and fuck your mother. Fuck Damn, you. no, oh. escalated it. <laughs> That's all Ooh. it took for him to get in it. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> you got blood on my tie, bro. Ooh. This shit escalated. Way Wait, too did one far. of the Mexicans snuff another Mexican just now? Or am I tripping? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I just saw that. I'm loving the music. Doom, 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 doom. The press love to label. Jailhouse melee. You and officers. Yo, Soprano's lawyer. Stenson was already drunk. I mean, mad young here. Sir, I won't testify against my partner or anyone else. Mm -hmm. This man is a disgrace. You know how it go. You're badge and gun officer. You're suspended from duty. You know how it go. They ain't gonna turn on each other. I felt like this is a man that doesn't need a badge or a gun. He's still gonna be out there policing. Oh, especially if you see somebody <laughs> smack a chick. What? It's over. It's a RZA. We need police witnesses to offset the damage done to the department. I'm asking you. Justice has to be served. Of course I'll testify. Wow. <laughs> Oh, mm, look at Buddy. Look at Buddy back there. He's trying to signal him. Shift the guilt to men whose pensions are secured. Force them to retire. But somebody has to swing. Richard Stensland and Bud White. Damn. Secure them jail time. The message will be very clear. Damn, Bud White. That's Russell Crowe. But Bud White is a valuable officer. Mm -hmm. White's a mindless thug. No, mm. Edmund... He's just a man who can answer yes to those questions I've asked you from time to time. Mm. Detect. Sergeant, I'll promote you to Lieutenant. Oh, Scheiser. Detective immediately. Ooh. Detective Lieutenant. A veteran like Vincennes might be willing to admit his own culpability, but he'd never rat out a fellow officer. How are you? Jack's the technical advisor on Badge of Honor. He lives for it. That's the way to get to him. You may well reap the benefit, Edmund. But are you truly prepared to be despised within the department? Hmm. Yes, sir, I am. Mm. So be it. So be it. He ain't looking in his eyes that whole time. Same names and also testified that you hit back. Wait, what? There's a glass behind it? And? Yep. And? 
you will testify against three officers who have oh. already earned their pension. Shit. And plead ignorance to questions directed at the other men. No thanks, I'm not a snitch. Okay, so he is a cop. He just sold the information to Danny DeVito, I think. Is that what happened? Probably. Jack, <laughs> I doubt you've ever taken a stupid breath. Mm. Don't start now. Hmm. Ace him at the grand jury tomorrow, son. Wear a smart looking suit and ace him. And Ed, lose the glasses. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Did I have contacts back then? Probably not, right? I don't know. I still don't even know what year we in exactly. Yeah, actually, what's the payoff? You're the payoff expert. Mm. I'm just doing my duty. Come on, you're playing an angle here, college boy. <laughs> Say you to pay off. Cops are gonna hate your guts for snitching. Lieutenant well, detective. if you're making the detective watch out, I'm snitching three old timers will be fishing in Oregon this time next week. Mm. <laughs> next to you, I'm clean and smart. And remember, Bud White will fuck you for this if it takes him the rest of his life. Damn. <laughs> Look, lad, I admire your refusal to testify. And your loyalty to your partner. And I'm most impressed with your punishment of women beaters. <laughs> do you hate them, Wendell? He do. They're yours. Go ahead, take them. Can't tell this man not to do that. Look, lad, I need you for an assignment the Chiefs give me the go ahead on. A duty few men are fit for, but you were born for. Don't tell. No. You'll be working out a homicide down at City Hall. Homicide. Okay. It's a muscle job. Bro, he about to ask him to kill. Did you follow my drift? No, 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 no. In Technicolor, sir. Nah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm this tripping, right? This ain't Sopranos, bro. They ain't talking to so, Cole. Nah, like. <laughs> he about to ask him to kill Buddy, bro. Prison. Who knows how far they the go? Detective. The sky's the Look at these two Goomba head ass. Exactly. This ain't Soprano. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Soprano. Damn. Exactly. This is Sopranis, nigga. Wow. They put the little arrows and shit. <laughs> they had them since back then. I had to let you know, you. this is what you're supposed to be looking at. <laughs> Could he be behind the hits? Is he consolidating organized mm. crimes? Damn. <laughs> he definitely not. One thing's for sure, mm, two man triggers monkeys. are punching the tickets no on the master's no muscle. Speak. When I know more, dear readers, so will you. Off the record, on the QT, and very hush hush. <laughs> Sound hush, like the cops hush. might be doing this. Ain't that that business card that he had? Go get the facts, Jack. <laughs> Just the facts. Whatever you desire. Mm. Bye Turning bye. it in. Bye bye. Gonna bump his shoulder as he walk down the hall. Make him drop his books. <laughs> Sorry about that, Lieutenant. Uh. Detective <laughs> Lieutenant. Get that right. Stay out of trouble, bud. I got a couple hours before I have to be at the victory. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Bring check, come on. Partner. Nah, I got a hot type of suit is that? That shit look like a rug. <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh. Who is she and what did you arrest her for? Mm. It's confidential. It's like that magazine that Vincennes scams for. Hush hush. Mm. <laughs> LA confidential. See you tomorrow, Earl. Hang on a minute. I'll walk down. Getting all them looks. He like, I don't want to be in here by myself with his ass. I'll walk you out. Like, <laughs> I'd like to see what he looked like out in the field. Lieutenant Exley. You got a homicide. Downtown division. The Night Owl Coffee Shop. I got it. Mm. <laughs> it's mine. Obviously, you're the only one there. Shit. Here we go. Shit. Damn, it looked like a trail of blood went to the back. This man. Oh man, burner still on. 
robot that means analyzing, analyzing. Man was just doing his job, seemed like. Mm, uh, people, he was defending himself. Yep. Robbed him. Pow, right in the kitchen. <laughs> That'd be fucked. <laughs> Day one on the job, like, he gets splattered. Damn! Damn. What the Yo. fuck? Yes, sir. Huh? I took the call. It's my case. You don't want it, Edmund, and you can't have it. I took the call. It's mine. I'll make you my second in command. Captain Smith, nah. over here, please. Back door! Nobody else in. <laughs> took the, took the, <laughs> took the little, uh, <laughs> La Tigre, like real quick, like that. I wasn't expecting that many bodies. Me either. That was just. We got an ID on one of the victims. It's Dick Stenslin. Was his buddy? Oh, was Dick Stenslin the partner? Yup. This is the hush hush shit, huh? Oh shit! And if he would have had his gun and badge, he would have been able to protect himself in that situation. His efforts. I don't know. We know this is difficult. Just take your time. Does your daughter have any distinguishing characteristics? You got the wrong. Mm, is that her? I was just gonna say. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Damn. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Yes. He's gonna be dedicated now. Yep. We do have one hot lead, so listen well. Three Negro juveniles wow. were seen discharging shotguns last night in Griffith Park. A park ranger ID'd them as driving a 1948 to 1950 Mercury Coupe. Mer there we go. Got our time. Interrogations will be led by Lieutenant Edmund Exley. What? Oh. Ah! They said, boo this man. Gentlemen, just go out and get him. Use all necessary force. The people of Los Angeles demand it. Dismissed. Right, I don't know if these are words you could be using right now. Everybody nah, in a grumpy bro. mood. This is this is different times. You feel me? They move different now, here, right? I know, but <laughs> they move the heat they under, they can't be out here using unnecessary force. They just have well, up necessary. anybody. I see you do. What's... We go by this list. We got about zero chance of making this caller. But I got a guy who knows what's going on south of Jefferson. I'm betting he can put us at 50. Yes, Jack. I'll take those odds. Hmm. Okay, Lieutenant. We got it from here. Okay, Lieutenant. He trying to. You guys, you should bring along a photographer. Trying to get his blue ring. Oh, he's stupid. Are you Pierce Patchett? I am. Mm hmm You recognize my face. Tell me about Dick Stensman. I don't know him. Mr. Officer White. Sue Lefferts died at the Night Owl. I'm investigating. Everything all right, Mr. Patchett? Fine, Philip. Thank you. <laughs> what happened to the other guy? Buzz. Buzz Meeks no longer works for me. Why were Lefferts' eyes black? I use girls that look like movie stars. Sometimes I employ a plastic surgeon. When the work had been done, that's when you saw us. That's why her mother couldn't ID her. Mm. I knew it. It was plastic surgery. Yep. We in L.A., man. I find Susan's killer, Mr. White. I'll give you a handsome reward. Ooh. Whatever you desire. He like, I get Ooh. Whatever you desire. He need Russell Crowe's character to hear that. Right? Russell Crowe's the one who got the whatever desire card? The black card? You mean Kevin Spacey, right? Kevin Spacey's character? There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. We was just Jack, looking at Russell Jack, Crowe. Jack, <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, Jack need to hear that. You have to go. Go? I got to give me one of the masks. The masks is too official. You have to go, but I'll make it up to you, okay? Miss Bracken? Right. I'm Officer White. I've been expecting you. Just not this soon. Pierce called. He told me what happened to Sue. LAPD shit, Bert. Get the fuck out of here. Or I'll call your wife to come get you. Mm. Damn. I'm turning in. Exactly. All that. 
Oh, that tough shit out the window. Want me to get rid of him? He's impeding on my time. Officer. <laughs> <laughs> now be respectful, huh? Look, he trotting away. <laughs> that man dipped it. He said, I'm all out. I was friendly with Stu Lefferts. Man, who is she? weren't friends. Oh, oh no. she living you know what I mean? pretty comfortable. You sorry she's dead? Patchett's running whores. Cut to look like movie stars. I do know now. Judging by his address, probably something bigger on the side. Mm. How did she meet Patchett? Pierce meets people. Sue came on a bus with dreams of Hollywood, and this is how they turned out. <laughs> they get turned out. <laughs> Turn into nightmares. I remember you from Christmas Eve. <laughs> you have a thing for helping women, don't you, Officer White? I'm not sure. But you did it anyway. Yeah. Just like the half dozen guys you screwed today. Damn. Well, actually, it was only two. Trying to make it three? <laughs> You're the first man in five years who didn't tell me I look like Veronica Lake inside of a minute. You look better than Veronica Lake. Mmm. Let me snap back to reality real quick. Mm hmm. I'm really a brunette, but the rest is me. Mmm. That's, what's that's all the news that's fit to print. He did say that lookalikes and he only sometimes uses the surgical Juni June. I'd like to see you again. Are you asking me for a date or an appointment? I don't know. <laughs> if you're asking me for a date, I should know your first Forget name. Forget I asked. That was a mistake. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, he folded for a second. Yep. He folded about to be for caught a up second. like 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 uh Nikki and Ray. <laughs> about to be caught up. One of ours. Shit. Somebody beat us here. Mm. Damn it. Glasses. You're kidding. Can't see, man. Well, just don't shoot me. <laughs> I can't lie. I don't. I haven't watched a lot of spacey films, so it's interesting. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Interesting seeing him as a cop. Oh, we were just <laughs> in the neighborhood. What do you got? I got three 12 gauge pumps, an empty box of double odd buck, and some cash. They got it. Or did they plant it? Here I come. Hey, fuck you, Vincent. This is our collar. Quiet. I'm ranking officer here. We go as a team. End of story. How many ways in? Only one. Up the stairs. Facts. And if y'all running through, y'all should want backup. Because for all you know, there's four motherfuckers up there. Shit, man. <laughs> Ready or not. Ooh. Don't move. Hey, some jack. Shut up, Rony. That man really was about to blow him away. Bruh. Hey. That shit was crazy. Back, back, back. Back. Oh. Oh. Get the wall. Get the wall. How's it feel getting out of the office? Man, I thought we was about to have a true detective moment, boy. Bless that man. Don't shoot him. It's crowded in your way. Right. right. I know, right? These guys killed Stansman. The ejection marks on the shells fired from the suspect shotguns are identical to the marks on the shell casings found at the night owl. I want confessions, Edmund. Is this a movie about Ed's descent to corrupt cop status? Like... Uh, he was a boy scout. You did the Casitas youth camp with Lewis, didn't you? Well, why do you keep asking me about Lewis? His business is his business. Well, Sugar, Lewis told me you went sissy up with Casitas. Mm. You couldn't do the time, so you got yourself a big white boy to look after you. Said they called you Sugar because you gave it out. Wow. So sweet. Wow. Lewis gave it up with Casitas, man. And I was the fucking boy shock in my dorm. Lewis was the sissy. <laughs> That's and Lewis gave it up with Fucking candy bars. He ain't got the sense of a goddamn dog. Wow. He that's, that's fire. What? All right, Raymond. Tell me one more thing about Jones and Fontaine. Where do they get their drugs? He runs a hole up on Bunker Hill. And he sells red devils. Actually, it's good. I'll give him that. Facts. I'll take a break. You got a big guilty sign around your neck. Damn. That's facts, though. That was masterful, Edmund. Yep. This one's ready to go. That's 101 nowadays. 
He peed himself. Oh my god. No. You talk, I think I can save your life. <coughs> Son, six people are dead, and someone has to pay for it. <coughs> now it can be you, or it can be Ray. <coughs> I didn't kill nobody! <coughs> Damn, you don't even got to flip the switch for that. He's screaming. I didn't mean to hurt her. Maybe she's okay. Okay. They talk about something else. Yeah. These people are all in the morgue. Lewis, who's the girl? What's her name? Mmm. Bud is like, what? Was she at the night out? <laughs> Lewis, listen to me. Was she at the night out? Yeah, a whole <laughs> Damn, bro. You might be right about them planting shotguns. It's too convenient. Shit, shit. Where's the girl Fontaine's talking about? Did you kill her? He wanted Lewis to lose his cherry, but that wasn't enough. If that girl is still alive, she's the only chance you. He he already knows they these ain't these ain't them. But I'm wondering if he's gonna tell her. To leave her someplace. Damn, bro. Sell her out. He about to snap. Oh, Damn. oh shit. <laughs> Russian roulette time. Put the weapon ah! down. Here's the girl. <laughs> Ooh, he goes. Yo, he knows his next. Master Fitch, 109 Avalon, Brown Corner House, upstairs. Ooh, <laughs> this shit Yo, crazy. I need that type of bud. I need that type of bud in my life. Captain, just give me one minute. You got that shit that way. The thing is, like, uh, is he going to, like, say something about it not tying to the whole what happened that night out? Like, I hope so, because yeah, that's like, a whole nother. Yeah. So I'm wondering if he picked that up or is, it, is he just something he going to ignore because he, well, he is a Boy Scout. Oh, they got the TV on to mask the noise when they raped her. Wow. She's still alive. She's alive. Yep. She looked over. That's fucking sick, bruh. Oh, he's there. Okay, someone's there. Yep. Someone's there. Yo, shout out to her, bruh. Shout the fuck out to her. That's such good thinking. Are we going to get that moment? <laughs> this fucking Some guy. fucking sloppy looking. YouTuber, look at this dude. Oh, I was hoping he wasn't gonna do that. Definitely need a question of this dude, man. Come on. He's <laughs> they be on it. Look, got the tape. Oh my god. That's why nobody else go in. He already knew it was about to go down. We don't let these type of say that <laughs> I'm gonna say nothing on the mic cause y'all be taking your boy too serious <laughs> yeah cover up oh man that's fucking sick bro she's been there for a couple days at least I need to know what time they left you get her to the hospital I realize this is difficult give your career a rest exactly leave her alone a naked guy with a gun? You expect anyone to believe that? Get the fuck away from me. Well, you think it means getting your picture in the paper? Why don't you go after criminals for a change instead of cops? Mm. Spend what they deserved, and so will you. Yep, 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 chill out, yep. You know he got those ranks. Got a bobby weave. <clears throat> he got his glasses no. on, so he could probably see all of it coming. He also got rank. Repeat, the night all suspects have escaped. Oh, what? How did they get out the window in the first place? Oh, we know they jumped to the second floor. The question was, where did they get their drugs? What was the answer? I haven't gotten that far yet. Roland Navarrete lives on Bunker Hill. He runs a hole up and sells Red Devils. Wow. No, that is the next move, though. That's Fire Dome, because they can't, they don't. That's just oh, yeah, the, the stenographer. The they need the, yeah. the traveling stenographers, like. <laughs> just in the back seat, like. Uh, Danny DeVito's the size of a of traveling stenographer. They could get <laughs> he, he did the backpack. Bro, you remember the Dave Chappelle show? The traveling stenographer, bro? 
<laughs> is that what it's called? Stenographer, right? Some shit. It's been a while since I've seen the the pay, the, the, the pay. That's a hella funny, bro. Dave Chappelle show. That's what I was saying. They felt like it was a plant. Stay right there. Chester. No. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, sh no. no. Bro, you could have probably laid down. Damn. And they, damn. Through the window. What they said? Can you shoot a fleeing a fleeing suspect in the back to uh just to prevent any harm? Look, see. Can you do it? Yo, this, I can't lie, this movie's kind of shaping up. Oh! Oh! You better hope no one else was in there. Please. Please. There he is. He did good, kid. They did, oh, okay. Woo! <coughs> For a second thing, I thought, <laughs> thought you were right. Yo. He got him. It's crazy they celebrating this man, but he just got a partner killed. Like, can't really say he got him killed. That shit is kind of in the in the line of duty. Like, spectacular bravery. In the well, line he, of he basically got himself killed. He should have never. Yeah, time. exactly. That's, that's sad. But at the same time, how do you control a situation like that with two guys versus four? It's kind of. I mean, once the guns go off, that's it. That's why. That's why he wasn't supposed to shoot. Customer 5,054. Tell me, is he watching? Oh my god, he is on this. What, what was the. What was his name? Travis? From yes. the 25th hour? No, Travis from Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver, there we go. Tell Mr. Patchett that I have no intention of changing my vote. Mm. <laughs> Got him! Mm. That's crazy. I was just about to say, wow, he's a politician. It may surprise some that a man in public office would admit to making a mistake. But after due consideration, I am changing my position on the matter before the council. <laughs> Go back to Jersey, Sonny. This is the city of the angels. Hmm. And you haven't got any wings. Man, this is where they got the L.A. Um, cops gang mentality from from the 50s 60s because they really is out here thugging like bro it'll come back to our territory man bro this shit is crazy You're starting to get a weak stomach for it your muscles letting you down nah, that man like i need my legs so weak i can hardly walk that man about to bust through the door, and we yeah, know he how thick that door up, is. bro. He need to relieve himself. I thought he was just gonna be outside the window, just looking in, like <laughs> <laughs> boombox over the head. I don't think they had boomboxes then. They had car radios. He was gonna be out there with Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. I for that you date. Might My turn. It's bug. Appointment or date? What up? And she didn't even get to clean up. You feel me? And she about to make sweet love to this man. She not Maybe this will help, though. Get some of that aggression. He walked this in man looking like angry. a Mormon. That's why I said he got it. He pent up. He definitely is. He looking like a missionary, a Mormon missionary, bro. He do. Like, he be riding in the bicycles. like With the motherfucking the Church of Latter-day Saints. Like, pull up. <laughs> <laughs> That last one broke my back. <laughs> <laughs> Look like she hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so that bad she bro, she <laughs> This is her bedtime, that's why, bro. She, this man keeping her up and shit to make love. Like she just been working all night. Still get inconsiderate, bro. What? She be out there day and night. She toss and turn and everything die. Man, this is Jack. No secrets between me and him. Mm, the two-tone belt, I like yeah. that. 
It's a clean look. Have we uh, met before? <laughs> he don't remember you, bro. Yeah. Was it at a party? <laughs> exact surprise yeah, party. Exactly. <laughs> Going away party, yeah. <laughs> it, was. it was. Whatever you desire. Mm. Mm. Pokers that look like movie stars. He's still trying to get it out. Patch, it has it all. <laughs> that's courage, kid. Drink up. He said, "That's courage. That liquid courage. You're gonna need it." You know, uh, I don't think I should do this. You pull this off, there'll be a par for you. I'm, I, I, I smell a comeback, don't you, Jack? Go on, it mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Go introduce yourself. Go on. Just go on over there and pretend it's an acting job. Hmm. Showbiz. Acting, that's it. Right. They mean literally smash the DA? It'll be our secret. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. This dude is so dumb and gullible. Are most people in the who are trying to get into the business yard? They'll be at the Hollywood Center Motel room 203. Okay. Yeah, he he literally meant to fuck the DA. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can work in the Hollywood sign. If he <laughs> Hollywood. What do you know about Pierce Patchett? This is so crazy. Like Patchett, I, I know what you know. He's very rich, and he just invested in freeway construction, which is gonna make him richer. He cannot help me in my quest for prime sinuendo. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you gotta do is talk to Bud, man. That's actually pretty chilly. Okay, now the real date. <laughs> Exactly. See, like, I get piped all the time. Like, let me watch the movie. You remember Jack? Yeah. Never was. 24. Ooh. He left the whole tang. He felt guilty. Drink. Oh, he gonna go stop it. He said by midnight. It seemed like these, the two cops who I thought would be the bad cops seem like they making a turn for the better. Matt? Come on, kid. You don't have to do this. A body? Oh no. Can it be? He's dead. He killed the DA? No, the DA or killed Or is that him. Matt? Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. What time is it? Damn, looking right at you. You remember what time the Negroes left you, right? In your statement, you said they left you at midnight. They might have. What do you mean they might have? I don't know what time they left me. You feel me? I'm fucking tied down getting raped. I did what I had to do for justice. Mm. Yes. That's what everyone seemed to be saying. So, I got a couple of night owl questions. Don't know if you read the papers, but that case is closed. Anything bother you about it, Ray? Yeah, the fact that the packup boys haven't hauled this shit out of here yet. Up, <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Sit to go through. There's blood on the wall here. I thought everyone but the cook got shot in the men's room. That is Stensland's blood. Two of the victims were women, right? Yeah. Patty DeLuca, the night shift waitress, and a Susan Lefferts. Susan's. Yeah. Susan Lefferts. Mm hmm. This is the shit he was into. Mm hmm. Pierce is definitely a suspect. Yeah, these three need to get together, bruh. Tell me about the boyfriend, the one you mentioned at the coroner's office. See, see, I told you I didn't approve of that boyfriend. He was too old for you. Look at the picture for me. That's him. Okay. That's him. Came yep. here with another man, though. Who's the other man? Outside. And then Mrs. Jensen said they kept going under the house. Hmm. What's going on? You'll have to leave now, officer. What's through here? It's just a room full of old things. Oh, don't move that. Mm, don't move that. Don't mind the smell. I think a rat died behind the wall. No, nah, somebody's died. For mm -hmm. real? What the hell? Hmm. Wow. Ooh, bruh. I know. 
Guess we're about to find out. He ain't waiting. Ah, that's got to be horrible. Meeks. Leland Meeks. Leland Meeks. Never heard of him. Oh. Buddy. Dang, so that's a fresh body then. <sighs> what? Is he just going to like thank you and just leave that man? <laughs> Like, what's going so on? So that's a fresh body then, because what the hell was on the, on his head, though? What are they doing? Mm, she Let like, no. Rest in peace. Man. Mrs. Leffords, I just want to ask a few questions. Officer White already checked under the house. There we go. All he found was rodents. <laughs> he for sure left that shit. Vincennes, I need your help with something. I'm busy yes. right now. Why don't you just go ask some of your boys in Homicide? Why in the world do you want to go digging any deeper into the Night Owl killings, Lieutenant? Rolo Tomasi. Rolo Tomasi? Is there more to that, or am I supposed to guess? Mm. My father ran into him off duty, and he shot my father six times and got away clean. Mm. No one even knew who he was. Rolo Tomasi's the reason I became a cop. I wanted to catch the guys who thought they could get away with it. Mm. Mm. What do you want, actually? You know why? I just want to solve this thing. Just... Night Owl was solved. No. All right, college boy, I'll help. But there's a case your boys and well, Bug wouldn't talk to him anyway, so. I think it's just another Hollywood homicide. But I don't. You help me with mine, I'll help you with yours. Deal? Mm, so he pulling him, him into the motel shit? Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Now we just need Bud. All three of them. Listen, we out here closing cases. You feel me? About to be out here like Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that image is just wild. Bud we all know who's front and center, Jack. though. Jack. <laughs> Okay. This man about to watch him Yo. with his little Daisy Dukes. Well, maybe White's not so dumb after all. Hmm. Second person. Who said it? I think your case and my case are somehow connected. It's Fleur de Lis again. Fleur de Lis? Mm hmm. Whatever you yep. desire. Porno. Yep. High class whores. The millionaire? Yeah, I think we should go talk to him. Look at that. First, I want to brace stump yes. no. Oh my God! Yes, we get. They said they getting close. Ah, this man is just having a bad day. <laughs> he getting pressed by all the police in them fucking LA. And now this time he on a date. Get away from our table. Shut up. A hooker cut to look like Lana Turner. Is still a hooker. Hey. Damn. She just looks like Lana Turner. She is Lana Turner. What? She is Lana Turner. You stupid dumb fuck. Mm, nice. <laughs> nice. That's what you get, idiot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's facts, though. I kind of give it. I give it to him on that one. Like, how was he Look, supposed he's, to know? He loved that shit. Look at him. <laughs> That's a big brother smile right there. Look, exactly. <laughs> Laugh that shit off. That's funny. That shit funny. That nigga yeah, it went too hard. <laughs> Matt Reynolds. There we go. Let's get to it. No? Nothing? No? We want some answers, Patrick. Well, we all want something. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, what man. Lock design? this man up. Yeah, he's too damn mysterious. He's just too freaking calm by everything. Like, he's definitely. Says he has your ID. Tell him Sergeant Vincennes is coming in to talk to him. Ah, uh, Roger. I'll drop you at your car. Where the hell are you going? Lynn Brackens. I'm going to find out why Patchett has her seeing Bud White. He don't got her seeing Bud White. Bud White got himself seeing her. A shush. Oh, the shit. Record and on the QT. Come on. What did he tell him? Hell yeah. QT hush hush. It's 
Mm. I'm Lieutenant X. Oh, uh, you know how he roll? He probably in the bushes somewhere <laughs> about to hop out on the ass. Like, ha! Gotcha, bitch. He said you were smart. Not smart he enough, also said though. Because he's about to get played. You screw yourself to get ahead. Mm. Well, let's concentrate on my smarts. Pierce Patchett made you, didn't he? Taught you how to dress, talk, and think. And I am very impressed with the results. Yeah, we know. I thought creepy. he was going to say, my smarts is all in my... That's where my brain is located at. You're afraid of Bud because you can't figure out how to play him. He doesn't follow the same rules of politics as you do. I see Bud for all the ways he's different from you. Mm. Don't underestimate me, Miss Bracken. You a square. I knew it. I was like, the way he breathing. Fucking me and fucking Bud aren't the same thing, you know. Stop talking about Bud White. Where Danny where you need him? I know I should have said it. I should have said it. I should have said it. I was like, yo, there's somebody behind that fucking with I fucking. Okay, it's funny because I saw something kind of move back there. I knew it. But I just didn't believe there was like a full on camera behind there because of the times. But he's right, just we, there snapping fit flicks. We, we called it. We just ain't see the execution of it <laughs> we thought it was paparazzi style like well we thought it was you know how he got introduced you know man was fortnite in it in the, in the front yard like jack vincennes what's going on midnight jack i need two minutes dudley <laughs> do you remember buzz meeks dudley a disgrace as a police officer Mm. Straight D fitness reports from every CEO he ever served on. He stay talk about people's fitness reports. What's this all about, Boyo? Part of it has to do with a murder. I've been working with Ed Exley on it. You're a narco, Jack, not homicide. I messed something up. I'm trying to make amends. Don't start trying to do the right thing, Boyo. <laughs> you haven't had the practice? Mm. <laughs> mm. That's cold. I like that. What does Exley make of all this? No, I haven't told him yet. I just came straight from the record. Yo! What the fuck just happened? We were just having coffee. Rollo. Tomasi. Mmm. Yo, this That's is... As soon as I seen the gun, I knew he wasn't going to say any words. He was just going to pull that fucking trigger, bro. Bro. I thought these three were going to make it to the end. I ain't going to lie. This is this is a good movie, son. What? This, this is, movie's amazing, This is Brad. crazy, yo. This is lit. The park preliminary forensics I'm indicates the body was most likely moved. done right mm. now. It was definitely moved. I want two man teams to scour that entire neighborhood. Our justice must be swift and merciless. That's the same shit he said for 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 uh, Stainsfield. This is this is this is not gonna turn out good. I feel like the people are gonna get away. Him and Bud need to figure out how to team up. The records check has led to a dead end. What's the name? Rolo Tomasi. <clears throat> you ever heard Vincennes mention him? Perfect. Perfect. This is this is perfect. a good ass movie. <laughs> this is perfect. This is perfect. Holy shit! Probably nothing. This is Still. yo. This is keep sick. your eyes open. This, this shit is, is the best. Son. I got chills, bro. Nah, for real. I got. I mean, it's chills. been cold in the room. I think it's raining today. But <laughs> nah. shit. I was I got... getting chills as soon as they uh he shot him and he said Rolo Tahasi to him. I got chills when he said it to the captain. So wow. that's double chills. Look, just give me a name. We need Ed and Bud to connect, bro. Going. But the problem is that the the pictures is gonna. Force, I know they haven't came into play it's, yet. It's gonna force him to kind of change his tune or either double down. Oh no! If Bud see them pictures, he gonna get emotional too. So. Mm. Mm. That's what I I'm really saying. Don't know. Not I really don't know where we're going. Like, if you feel me, anything can happen right now. You're a bit of a puzzlement to me these days, Wendell. You don't seem to be your old cruel self anymore. And I had such grand plans for your future. 
Mm, I had a grand plan sound like Odin. You have your extracurricular activities, and I have mine. Mm-hmm. He a killer. That's crazy. I said he was going to ask Bud to kill Ed earlier. You did. You That's did. That's crazy. You did. Can I count on you, lad? Yes or no? Yes, sir. No, don't. No, <sighs> this man is a killer. Yo. This man is a killer. I can't trust him because he was the vampire from Underworld. That's what, so I could never trust him. That's who when he I is, see right? Him. I never. I trust know. Him. I remember him from somewhere. I just can't remember what. Wendell, this is Sid Hudgens. I'm willing to cooperate. There's no need to tie me down. It's for your own safety. <laughs> Damn. I didn't have anything to do with him getting killed. If that's what you mean. But you were business associates. What's that got to do with anything? Damn, them big ass fucking mittens. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> it's gladiator right there, boy. Blackmail shit in my car, in the trunk, under the rug. Damn. Patchy got me to photograph this cop screwing this gorgeous slut named Lynn. Mm. Which is just like Veronica Lake. Brenda, Brenda! Hey, hey, hey. Leave him be. Uh, yes. I said leave him be. Uh. Get him off me. Get him away from me. Back off, Wendell. Off. Back off. Wait till we see the pictures. Wait till he see, because he think it's him. Nope. It's Ed, buddy. Because he think if she didn't like me, I'm set up. Nah, bro, it's Ed. You about to be pissed. Bro, this about is... To be double pissed. This is crazy how late. Hello. It ain't you, bud. It ain't you, bud. Damn, it's ruining Ed, the bud. pictures. It's Ed, bud. It ain't you, bud. It's Ed, bud. Look at him. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me now. Oh, I knew he was gonna get emotional. And he already know, cause he hip with the shit. <laughs> I wouldn't trade places with Edmund Exley right now for all the whiskey in Ireland. <laughs> this shit is sick, yo. This is. And you, learn to pull your punches a little better. Oh shit. Oh no. Yeah, we gonna kill you, cause we gotta clean shit up. Damn, everybody was part of this shit. Mm, I'm not even gonna shoot you. Oh. Hush, hush. Hush, hush. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this shit is fine. Yeah. This is just... It, it. Oh, he's going to her first? He oh, about to no. pull up on her front yard. Fucking no, poorly bad. style. Don't like. become your father. She's a working girl, bro. What you can you say? Coming out of the rain. I want to know what happened with Exley. You heard it was she was paid to do it. Blackmail. You don't want to know the details, buddy. <laughs> Bro, why this man eyebrows on fleeky? Why his eyebrows on? Fleek? Why he acting like she ain't a, a, a prostitute? Bro, we saw that man pillow talk. <laughs> they I said oh. it. Don't become your fucking. What are you oh, doing, nigga? I knew it, bro. Exactly. Run away from your sins, bro. You trash. You blew it. You fell in love with the street walker. I, I gotta say, she took that shit like a love. man. There it is. Everybody that's connected. Dudley, Meeks, Stansfield. Yep. Bud, we need you to have a calm head, bro. Here we go. Please, oh, bud. Oh, shit. Bud, I'm glad you're here. You are last host. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's <thing> pissed, yo. <laughs> you are the chosen one. Yo. Wait. Yeah, wait. No. Oh, no. No, no. Damn. Bud, we need you, bro. <laughs> Tell him. Yo. Tell him. Hey, Damn. he make him eat. How her ass taste? Tell me how her ass taste. Ooh, Ooh smart. <laughs> Pull it on him. Come on. Point it Think. Come he on. He the photo, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Didn't he? Come oh, on. come on. Listen. We need you. Think. He telling him. Think. God damn you. Think. <laughs> I checked the daily report books. Dudley. Buzz Meeks and Stensland go way back. Mm -hmm. Somehow this is all connected to Jack's angle. Sid Hutchins, 
The pictures to blackmail Ellis Low. The DA. A kid got murdered. Yep, the DA, yep. That's the fun. We're gonna figure this out. We need to work together. DA the, Pierce. Yes. DA Pierce and Dudley, yeah, they all they all need to go. All of them. May I? Mm. Ain't hey. no may nothing. Girl. You gotta go in there. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Damn, we I wish Jack was here for this. Dudley Smith is a highly decorated member of this police department. I'm not going to smear his and Pierce Patchett's name without having... Without what? Them smearing yours first? Hmm. Mm. What do they have on you, Lowe? So far, you're not denying it. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to dignify this with answers. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me. <sighs> nah, bust that window and dangle him out the window. Oh, the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to kick that shit off the hinges. Come on, don't pull that good cop, bad cop crap. I practically invented it. So what if nah. some homo actor is dead, huh? Boys, girls, ten of them get off the bus to L.A. every day. Wow. <laughs> yep. That's how you see him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> if I take you out, ten more lawyers will take your place tomorrow. They just won't come on the bus. That's all. <laughs> 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 I love that. Oh, I'm about to say, he is gonna take a little window. He is. Yes, yes, take a little window. Okay. I thought Ed was gonna be like, Ooh. Okay. this is like a classic kind of like you know, '60s '80s shit. Oh my god! He's snitching, he's snitching. You I seen the, you seen the room? Yeah, I saw that shit. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> he snitched on up. Okay, I'm about to say that suit started looking baggy, bro. <laughs> they had to hide the wire somehow, you know. Mickey Cohen sounds familiar. Is that a real mobster? Or is that just a familiar name they be using in movies? Wasn't that somebody over there? It looked like someone was sitting down. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of random things I saw that I was like, maybe that old. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. Slit wrist. Oh. Looks like his bodyguard had a conflict of interest. Says he killed Jack because Jack had figured out a pornography scam. Dudley. Yeah. We need to go get him. I, I I am referencing the right character, right? Yeah, Dudley's the... The, the captain. Captain, yeah. Patchett's dead. He sent you after me. He don't need Pierce no more. He don't need the money guy no more. Lynn. This is final play. West Hollywood Sheriff. Mm. They're closer than we are. I'll get the car. This is his final play. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> they got beat up by the same nah, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that shit is cold. What happened? Somebody beat him to death and stole a bunch of files. <laughs> Must have dug up garbage on the wrong guy. We got it narrowed down to a thousand oh, suspects. Oh, they moved him. Yep. These fools really close. And, uh, and it's crazy because you can't, you really just don't know who's on your side. That's what I'm saying. Dudley been in the game for too long. He he had a whole half the force. He do. 75, 80%. He do. Nah, nah. They still got some people. That's why they was able to get Lynn over there without raising suspicion. Did Hutchins was Hutchins is dead. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen that. Yep. It's too late. Hmm. It's too late. It's too late? Yep. There was another car that came oh, up the other side. Shit. And look, that's the third one right there. Shit. Okay. At least four cars right Damn, there. Damn, and I called it too. I said, I don't think they, it's going to end good for this like movie. I don't think it's going to end on a good note. Man, it might not. I mean, for some people, it already hasn't. <laughs> for most people, it hasn't. Like, facts, facts. Like, a lot of these people did not have to die. You figured this was a setup and you showed up anyway? A lot of bad stuff happened here. I knew it was a setup. As good a place as any for it to end. Tuh. One shotgun, one pistol. That's not enough, bro. There was like four cars that pulled up, man. And them shits could hold at least 10 people each. Ooh. Ooh. There's a video game moment right here. Okay. <laughs> Miss yeah, I gotta already get... dropped the shotgun. How are they going to get out of this? I don't know, bro. Is there anybody that can come save the day? Ooh, he real for coming through the front door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 
and start moving to the back. Ooh, 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 ooh stop. Ooh. <laughs> they be going too hard. Fags, you know you out of bullets. You better go it. pick up some guns. Look, he's still reloading. Hmm? Oh, yep, yep. They oh, are with Some Last of Us shit. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Evil Dead. They about to come out the basement. Oh, okay. They're gonna... Oh. Never let them know your next move. I feel you. Yeah. Somebody about to get their ankles blasted off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Screaming out there, you feel me? Screaming, yep, shoot them all they down. Yep. He need to come from under. He gonna bust ball from ball under the floor man. like Jason and shit, like. Nah, that's true, he is still under there, yep. Oh, you can't even see let's him. Let's go, that was dope. That's what we call a whack-a-mole, y'all, in shooting games. <laughs> Bruh, that man was in complete darkness. No, nah, that was fire. That was that sick. Evil Dead moment. I still never seen that movie. None of them? None of them. Damn. I just saw the newest one last night. I, I've seen the cover, so I know what guy is in it, but. Oh, shit. Exactly. Angle, the I angle. Like this angle. Yup, I saw him. No. He's right there. Yup. Move! No! Came in like Ellis the Walt, bro. Ooh, Ellis the Walt. No. <laughs> no. Shit. And he's out of bullets over there. Come on, don't let Tomasi. Yep. Who oh, is he? You are. He isn't. Yes. No. Ooh, no. Oh, in the, the cheek. fucking cheek. The cheek, the cheek. The shoddy. Let's go. Is out too? No, 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 no. He can't blow. He can't. He needs. It. He needs him. That's true. He That's needs true. Him. You can't just kill fucking your. I cap. mean, the main guy. Let me do the talking. After I've done, then make you chief of detectives. Mmm. He trying to play him still. Hold up your badge, so they'll know you're a policeman. Hit him with yep. it. Are you willing to shoot him in the back to prevent any future? This is what they asked in the beginning. Yep. Yep. I love, bro. This movie is great. This movie yes. was great. This movie was great, bro. This movie was fire. Can you shoot him in the back to prevent any future crime, bro? Are you willing? What a fucking show. Hold up your bag so, so I know he pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, son. This was great. They don't even don't even clean it up. Just roll the credits, bro. Cause <laughs> just so good. Well Press is gonna have a field day with this. If we can get the kid to play bomb. Let's say what happened. Hmm. Maybe Dudley Smith died a hero. They about to spin the fuck out of this. You want to tell me what you're smiling about? A hero. How do you know what we were talking about? You couldn't have heard us. In this situation, you'll need more than one. Man, always thinking about his career. Bud, too. That's what he said. You need more than one, right? Yep. Bud gets it. Next year, the LAPD will move into its new facility. Oh, see, Bud did die. How come he didn't say his name? Did he say his name? I don't know. Now you got me questioning. Like, damn, did Bud <laughs> didn't really go? He got hit in the cheek, man. Ain't gonna take his bitch. That's fucked up. <laughs> No, she's about to take him to him right now. He at the crib. Word, word, word. Think so? Eating tomato soup right now? Because he threw the wire. He got shot in the cheek. So if he is alive, he definitely on his Kanye. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Brolic through the wire. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you lucky.
Stop it with the music, man. You guys are getting me right here. Some men get the world. Others get egg soakers and trip to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to be the latter. They <laughs> <laughs> both got the same arm last time. I could hear this song in like a JRPG. Bro, you about to start a battle and shit, man. Alright. See if there's any end credits. That's who James Cromwell is. Dudley Smith. The fucking motherfucker from motherfucker. Wait, there is something right here. It's the actor uh, posing with the, the DA. Yeah, I see the DA. And then it's the, the actor at the end. And they shows the screen of Sergeant Jack. Dedicated to Sergeant Jack. Vincent. Vincent. So this is real then. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Spacey's character. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, they just that, said that means it wasn't important. Yeah, if they <laughs> if they put us to that, it wasn't. We got important. it. We got it. Netflix. I there we have it. L. A. Confidential, nineteen ninety seven, in the books. Once again, big shout out to Pig over on Patreon for. For requesting this fantastic, amazing movie here. This was this was just amazing. I was gonna say it. This movie was fantastic from beginning to end. Um, it didn't miss a beat. And it really uh it gave us a lot of different type of characters that were in this, you know, this universe. And I, I just enjoyed everything about it, man. I, I really I really thought it was good. They had a great cast all around. Um yeah, ain't much to say other than this shit was amazing, man. How about you, Former? How you felt about this one? This is it's probably like one of the best movies I've seen in the last like five years, bruh. Like I I don't watch every single movie, every new movie or old movie or whatever, but I've watched enough movies. Um I've watched plenty at least. And I'll say at least like just trying to think like what, what's five years ago? Twenty twenty, right? Where was I around that time? 2019, yeah. It's around when COVID first even started. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, bro. I would say it's probably like one of the best movies I've seen in the past five. Yeah, boy, this shit was a banger. Straight banger. Shout out to Robert De Niro for not being in the movie. <laughs> I, maybe I saw Russell Crowe or something real quick yeah. and just was like, is yeah. that Robert? Like, They don't look alike at all, but who knows? I, I don't, don't know. I don't know why I thought Rob UD, but... uh. Either way, still an amazing cast. I fuck with, um, like I said, I don't watch too much spacey stuff, but for the most part, I don't have uh, any gripes um, with him. But um, Russell Crowe, fucks with Russell Crowe. Mm -hmm. So, solid. It was solid little cast, solid movie. Loved it. Yeah, man. Shout out to Pig. Loved it, bro. Yeah, appreciate you, Pig, man. This one was, whoo, this one was a home run mm -hmm. out of the park. But um, let's just get into certain things that we liked about this movie. One thing that I really did enjoy about this film was how the different police officers that we were following were very different. You know what I'm saying? We had one who took things very, very personal from the very beginning and kind of dried. That's what drove him through the through the entire film was his just him having that personal issue with, you know, his childhood past and kind of. That translating to him not liking, you know, females getting roughed up and, and, and just being uh, taken advantage of. And then we had the, the square. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to be detective. You know, I'm trying to rise into the ranks. The but, boy scout. Yeah, the boy scout, but in the right way. He was trying to do things in the right <laughs> way. But we see he kind of veered off track for a little bit, but then got back. So I, I did like that. And then we had the, the man who's willing to do anything for a buck. So I, I just like the three different types of police officers that we got in this film. And not only that, the the, the way the police officers were portrayed in this movie was crazy. Okay, this shit really did feel like a gang. It felt like these motherfuckers was really fighting for territory and type shit. Like it they were. <laughs> yeah, Dudley was out here. He was a menace mm -hmm. to society, literally. 
but I, I, I love that uh, about this entire film. The what they gave us with the the protagonist here, um, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, um, I would say same thing. Like the the dynamic of the three characters and how their story arcs all had to meet to, you know, ultimately triumph. Um, but one thing that I have to say, bro, that I really really enjoyed about this. And it's crazy that I'm about to say this because sometimes it's good to just have like a 90 minute movie, you know what I'm saying? Hour and 20 minutes. This was obviously two, 210, I think. Yep. Um, but I could see why, bro. Because there's this plot isn't new, you know what I'm saying? Like we've seen corrupt police where mm -hmm. like the, 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 the honcho in charge was the actual, you know, antagonist and stuff like that. But like there's there's never any depth to it, though. Like it's just like it's the complaints I always make, you know what I'm saying? Like, the movies from the old times, they didn't have as much action and, and shit that they could really, like, woo you with, so they had to really, you know, get you with the writing and the acting and the characters yep. and, the, and the setting and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's how I felt about this, like, because I'm just like, you know, this isn't a new storyline. We've seen where, you know, corrupt back, the, the corrupt cops have done X, Y, Z, but back to, like, just the three main characters, like, how different they were and how their worlds kind of collided and and well at first their worlds were completely separate and then collided through negativity and then like at the end had to all come circle back together so that they could ultimately you know catch that dub so i was just like damn sometimes you need those extra half hour to really flesh out some some good plot man and some good characters because mm -hmm. yeah it was just fire because like it's like like i said it's nothing new but it still felt refreshing yeah. That's what I'm really trying to say. Like the plot not new, but it felt refreshing watching mm -hmm. these characters play it out. So Yeah, even so, at the end then where you were like, Oh, they can end it right here and I'll be good with it. Mm -hmm. Even that even after that was just really good too. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got that interrogation uh moment and then we get the, you know, the send off with Buddy Bud basically like, yo, I'm about to take my my chick out and we go to yeah. Arizona and never coming back. So um yeah, the we needed yeah. it. We needed the, it. Yeah, the, the ending they gave us leaves it a little bit less open-ended than the one that but, I was like. Because if they would have ended it right there when the cops was pulling up, then yeah. that, that would have been up to us to decide, like, yeah. you know, how did they clean it up? But they let us know it was cleaned up, bro. Mm -hmm. LA, LA Confidential, bro. <laughs> Basically, I know. Like, I know. Uh, <clears throat> um, but what can you do in that situation? What would you do? Like you? Can't... Yeah, there isn't much you could do. I mean... Both of those, I feel like both of those options were what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Either go yeah. with it or finagle. Or try finesse. to fight it and freaking, and it's like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's just like, even if you did decide to go through and be the Boy Scout and uncover all the unjust shit that the, you know, LAPD did, would you still want to work there after that? Like, and I'm not talking about, and I'm not even talking about the fact of working there because of all the other cops are going to be mad at you type shit. Like, mm -hmm. just like, what what does a police department even become after something like that gets revealed? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I mean. Like, what, what happens to the resources? What happens to the trust in the community? Like, so it's just like, would you even want to be there anymore after this shit even happens? So I, I see why he, you know, I see why it's LA Confidential, bro. Yeah. I see why Ed took the route he took, man. Yeah. But damn. Damn, this movie was amazing, son. <laughs> This movie was amazing, um, bro. Another thing that I really did enjoy about this film was just how it was shot. Like, um, we we, we it, it, it feels modern, but it still has that kind of throwback kind of look to it. So I think they did a phenomenal job when, when it comes to the wardrobes, the setting. Like, everything mm -hmm. from that time period really did feel... It felt, it felt, it felt good. Like, it felt real. Um, and, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> so much shit, man. Bro. It's a lot. It's a lot. The amount of people that died in this movie is crazy. Okay. Facts. And I'm I'm just I'm just kind of I'm just kind of curious. Like, was this really kind of like what police policing was back in the day? Was this even a, even anything similar to what policing was like back in the day? So I would just love to to know that. I wish there was. Bro, I wish there was body cams back in the day. We see what body cams are showing today, bro. I'm exactly. pretty sure this shit was like that's this back I, in the day. That's bro. what I'm saying because like, it just, 
so shysty because of the, the, the amount of leeway that you have like back then. So it's just like, mm-hmm. I, I I feel like this could be like something that could happen. Yeah, obviously, it's exaggerated. That's you know what I'm saying? That's it. Nah, that shit ain't. Bad, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That's why I had a I'm moment. sorry, bro. I had a pause I'm sorry. for a second. I had a pause for a second. Like, I, like obviously, we might feel like things like this are exaggerated because it's in the movies. We're we're you know conditioned to think everything in the movies is fake and blah blah blah. Whoopie. It was kind of like you know when people was like uh, when we was talking about heat, the heat shootout, and people oh, was just like, nah, yeah. bro, this was real and boop boop boop. You gotta yeah. you gotta remember like cops only had pistols while. Meanwhile, the bank robbers had the yops and shit. I was just like, you know what? They right, because I really didn't think about that when I was watching it. I'm just like, nah, this too long. They should have been laid out. Um, that's how I feel about, you know, most movies sometimes. Like, But, yeah, just out here in Cali, I think, last year in 2023, bruh. Like, the fucking, what was it, San Jose or some shit? Or Santa Santa Rosa? Like, chief of police was in, like, a fentanyl crime ring and stuff like that. Like, so, yeah, bruh. <laughs> this shit ain't... And this is now 2023 where things are easier to get caught up like yeah. back then so back then, hell yeah, yeah. Hell if you yeah, ain't walk around with a, 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 a with the veto you was done <laughs> you didn't have the strap you don't have the, the hush veto. hush you feel me you didn't have the traveling stenographer you was done you so. done that's that's what i'm saying man it it it, it, it really yeah it it painted a picture that's so vivid like and it's it, it was it was beautiful man it was beautiful. This, this it was movie. beautiful. This movie I loved it. This movie I loved it. Good, and they, they, man, they're just really good. Th- I don't know. It's just really good choices. Yeah, so killing weird. off like, Jack was just like, man, unbelievable. Yeah, that was beautiful. And, and, and then from it to come from, I mean, even though you kind of had that that mentioning of Dudley saying, "Is he gonna ask him to body, you know, mm-hmm. buddy?" Mm-hmm. Like, I did get something, uh, like, a, obviously you get a certain type of vibe of him because he's pretty much an asshole. But, you, you know, he's the captain. Most captains in most movies are assholes and, you know, have certain type of traits that you really don't like. But I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming like that, to be honest. Yeah. That was probably yeah. the most surprising moment for me in the movie was just seeing Jack go. And mm-hmm. then for them to tie in the... Rolly the Rolo, yeah, that shit, bro. <laughs> that right there was the 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 moment where I was like, this movie went from great to amazing. Yeah, like you know when Buddy ended up telling him like he told me a name and then he tells him and he's just like, mm-hmm. it, it, it all clicks like all click. Yep. So for me, yeah. like for me, that's that was the the best moment in my point in, in my opinion, the best moment because it really just. It elevates the movie to a whole nother level, like because you know that he knows, you know that mm-hmm. we know, and we know that he the only one who told him that story. So it's just like you feel me. So yeah, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. because they set they set up the whole, you know, he's not he's not gonna be liked within the the, the department. Mm-hmm. So you know he didn't tell this to anybody. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They they set it up before even setting it up. So it's just like, damn, this plays out so beautifully. Yeah. <sighs> they, yeah, they just did a lot of the really good stuff. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's it's that, that, like not showing the scene in the diner, for example. Mm, like not mm-hmm. showing that at all for some reason. Like, yeah. Like I don't know. Like I don't I know that I ain't like, I don't connect all the dots all the time, but I just feel like if they would have showed, like, three people run up in that diner, like, I would have put it together. Like, those are cops, bro. Because I was already thinking that shit. Like, bro, it's these cops that are killing the... Uh... Well, I wasn't thinking it was the cops that did the Night Owl shit, but I was like, bro, yeah. these cops are definitely killing these freaking mafia dudes. Like, so yeah. it's just, like, not showing that See, at all. Like, it, it, it leaves you open to just more interpretation of, like, you know, what could be happening, what is happening, yeah. what isn't. Like, so... Yeah, when you even it mentioned right, that, though. I was even like against. I was kind of fighting back towards LA because at first it didn't seem that way. Like, well, I don't mm-hmm. know how you picked up on it so damn, bro. So, honestly, so it's, it's because it's because I wasn't paying attention. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> So I had to start making my old theories of what I was watching. I'm just like, wait, are these niggas crooked? Because remember, we was confused by Jack's character for a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. even when I did start putting Jack's character to, um, character together, I was still confused. It was still, it, it wasn't until like the 
middle of the movie where I was just like, oh, wait, okay, so he's a badge of, like, there's an actual show out there. Yeah. He's a cop cop, but mm-hmm. then there's this actual show that I guess is sponsored by cops or whatever, because, like, yeah. but anyways, the point <laughs> is, like, I was thinking he was crooked or something, because I keep seeing him exchanging money. Like yep. you said, he's just a cop that like money, do whatever for that dollar. So I already started kind of making that shit in my head, and then, like you said, they was playing with Ed being the Boy Scout. So I'm thinking Jack and Bud are going to be like corrupt cops and Ed is going to be like, I, like I was thinking we about to watch Training Day, basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At yeah, some I point, see, like, yep, 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 yep. Right? <laughs> so that's why I kind of started throwing shit like that out there. I'm just mm-hmm. like, all right, hold up. Somebody crooked, somebody mm-hmm. is, but <clears throat> the way they did is way better than, than what yeah, I had and, in my head. So. And, the, and the, just the small like conversations between Bud, uh, Dudley and all the, you know, all the, the protagonists, are beautiful because it yes. all it all tie like all his co- it, thinking back right now all his conversations are like keys yeah master plan shit yeah like keys to why, are, why are you why are you getting weaker why are you growing the conscience why are you this why are you exactly. that he's trying to make exactly. sure that his soldiers are where they need to be in, yes. in place Ma- like master in disguise and man. and it, 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 it it's so good he he yeah. he's sitting there looking at who gonna snitch on who, which cop gonna snitch. Who you loyal to the man? Like, come on, son. Giving Ed his badge under the table. Well, it was on top of the table, but still, it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't official in the office? Like, so yeah, bro. This bravo, man. <laughs> this is a banger. You you, you want to know? Cause uh, something, something that I do on my free time, like if y'all don't know, like I I watch a lot of interrogation. Like first forty eight type shit. Not first forty eight, just like real, just real like interrogations on just like r- random like either homicides or just random shit like. And the interrogation in this movie was fire, mm-hmm. fire. When they had mm-hmm. the three, the three black males in there, mm-hmm. I thought that was probably one of the best interrogation uh, scenes I've ever seen. Yeah, in my life. Yeah. For the simple fact that the the way he played into the you know trying to coerce him into saying what he wanted him to say, and then letting everybody else hear it, mm-hmm. the buttons under the table. That oof. was crazy. I've never seen that. Never shit. seen the that. Buttons in my life. under the never table. Never seen shit that. Was wild. Never seen that. I've and I never... think that shit is genius. That <laughs> is. That shit is genius. It Imagine is. what the wire could do with sh- some shit like that. If the wire had that, they would never had to put motherfuckers on copy machines and shit. Bro, that shit is probably illegal now, though. Nah, that it, it is. It is. <laughs> Hell that shit is crazy. I'm like, yo. Because you, you, you could do what he did. You could, you know, manipulate the conversation exactly. for him Manip- to say yep, everything. what you want him to say. And then, boop, hit the button. And now, you know what I'm saying? So, understandable. But at the same time, it was fire. It like, was magnificent. <laughs> and, yeah. And that, yeah, that was... <sighs> One one, one more thing movie, too man. the the Ed mm-hmm. low key I was gonna call him Val Kilmer but I need to know I need I need y'all to comment down below if y'all made it this far what's his name um, because man he 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 did a, he did a fantastic job like I, I really did enjoy his character uh, um, when he did with the role he did his thing he really did his he thing did. he did his thing um, and, and he then, really had the best circle bro to be honest. Mm. Cause he 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 got yep. the, he basically got everything he did there. What I mean, shit. Even Bud did low key, right? He got up out of that shit and got him his his little shorty. Like she said, some men get the world, some men get an ex hooker and a you know free trip to Arizona. <laughs> but um, I really did like Ed's full circle, like with the whole shit about him wanting to be a detective, and he gave him those questions, yeah. and then he basically had to. He had to answer yes to all those questions, essentially, by the end yes. of the movie. Yes, so. yes. And then, <clears throat> for the cherry on top, he found his Roly Tomasi. Yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah. right? Yeah. Technically, he found him. So it's just like, it, 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 yeah, his full circle is definitely top tier, top tier. Yeah. For a second, I almost thought that was his dad's Roly as well. I'm about to say, hold up. You did say that. Now you I, yeah, I'm about to say, wait, was that his, the dad's Roly? But I was just like, wait, nah, he wasn't in the... Yeah, that... Because he did say his dad was a cop, though. Yeah, but the, but the they thing weren't about it diff- is... They weren't in L.A., right? It was. I don't know, I don't but know. the thing about that is he was a kid. So the, the guy who most likely did that is probably dead. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you think so? 
Because, yeah. I mean, Dudley's pretty old. That too, like, that too. I feel like Dudley and his dad could have been, like, I feel like they would have been the same age where they could have yeah, been you in the probably, force together. Damn, bro. If That's that, what I'm if, saying. If that was, like, a real connection. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Is, this shit is beyond S tier. Yeah, that means he would have been. That means Dudley. I mean, because Dudley was on his shit for a minute. He'd been doing shit since he was a sergeant. Nah, that's he facts. A captain now. That's facts. That's facts. So, but yeah, I was like, hold up. If they make that connection, then nah, let, let me find 10, out. We got 11 come out back, of 10. Like, this, bitch. this shit is an S plus plus. I'm telling you, 11 <laughs> out of 10, man. It's. Oh man, I, I, to be honest, I I don't know what else I can say about this film other than that um I, I thoroughly enjoy this. Like I would definitely recommend this to anybody that just mm-hmm. likes watching movies who has some free time. I'm I'm most likely gonna be recommending this movie to them because this is just an all around just great film. Um, I agree. And if you're one for the minute details, this is one for you as well because you're just gonna be. Kind of like what I was doing. Like, wait, shotguns planted. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're going to be calling shit out before even shit happens. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, man, I thought I thought this film was beautiful. And uh, I can't I can't wait for another for our next request because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be. Y'all, y'all been killing it, man. Pig, yeah, have. you did your motherfucking thing, my G. We Yo, you did, it. Pig. Yo, this, this, hey. Yeah. Y'all yeah. requesters out there, I don't know, man. Pig might have set the standard with this one. <laughs> I know we we didn't watch some some good shit. I can't lie, bro. Yeah. 25th hour, taxi driver, mm-hmm. fear and loathing, once yep. upon a time. Bro, I can't lie. This was up there with like once upon a time in Hollywood, except for that, in my opinion, the plot on this one's a little bit better because once upon a time in Hollywood was more like character driven. This is like character and plot driven. Yeah. So this one was whew. So y'all gotta hey. Whenever y'all thinking of to request a movie to us, just remember, are they gonna like this as much as freaking <laughs> LA Confidential? <laughs> you setting the bar too high right now, bro. You setting the bar way too high. We already know nah, some of these movies one, can't compare. Just like some of these one, TV shows can't compare. You know what I'm saying? So nah, it's like that, you know, this people already unique, say though. we done went through the greats. Ain't nothing gonna be like so. See, but movies though, I feel like TV. That's that's probably true, right? There probably is only a handful of greats. Movies, there's just, decades, yeah. decades, decades. You're right. And just so much. There's probably so much greats out there. But um, how you feeling? You good? Should I give my finals? Yeah, give your finals, man. That was my final right there. My final spew. Like, yeah. my finals are uh, everything that we already said, of course, times ten, and then shout out to the supporting cast. You know, just not the the in your face protagonists and and actors that you probably name obviously me and Bradley are terrible with names so that's everybody outside of russell Crowe and freaking <laughs> no we did our thing this movie man I, I'm we don't care, know man. Listen, I'm we didn't know james crowley's back. name we just knew he was victor from I, 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 i'm Underworld. patting myself on the back listen we did <laughs> our thing we knew the characters names okay that's something that's not oh, oh, you mean thing. like they name name? I'm talking about the act, like the actual oh, the actors. Act, nah, names. nah, nah, nah. Yeah. That's we what need I'm saying. Y'all. We need y'all for that. We exactly. For that. Those those actors that we don't know their names by, they also did they for like Pierce, for example. Yep. The um, you know, the prostituta that Bud fell in love with, like, because mm-hmm. even there was some dialogue that she spit to both Bud and Ed that uh tied in some things too. That I was like, okay, yep. I like that. That was really mm-hmm. good. So shout out to the support cast. Um, this was a dope ass movie all around. So I'm going to just go ahead and give it, um, I think I'm going to just give it a 9.5. I'm not going to try to piddle paddle around the score here. Mm-hmm. It's hard giving out 10s because 10s is, you know, 10s is a 10, especially for a movie, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, this was, it was good, boy. I'll give it a 9.5. Um, I think I'm going to give it a 10. I think this is one of those movies where you have to give it a 10 for the simple, mm. fact, for the simple fact that it... You have to because it it gets that stamp of approval. Like ten is not saying that it's perfect. Ten is just saying that it's a must watch film. Like this is a must watch film. Like if you haven't seen this movie, you're gonna. I feel like you sh- you should have a good time, as long as you're paying attention. You know, so mo- most people put this shit as background noise and shit. So who knows if it's gonna hit for you or not? But if you pay attention to this film, this shit pays off in dividends. Like I'm. I'm leaving with fat pockets. I like that. I like that. 
So, I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm not but fucking I leaving. Go right now. I'm not fucking leaving. No. <laughs> but once more, shout out to Pete. Thank you, big man. We appreciate you. I'm looking at you right in your eyes right now, man. We appreciate you, dog. All right, man. Shout out Hopefully. To <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do that I'm like Motherfuckers be like Damn what you got up in there <laughs> But yeah man We appreciate you man And, and, and everybody else Also too Who do requests uh, we, we appreciate y'all too man Y'all been killing it Like we said um, and, and just thanks for supporting us Man thanks for being here Man it, it, it means a lot to us For real for real um, We started this journey Two years ago And it seems like You know things are going well So you still rocking with us, man? We appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in. But listen, if you made it this far and you haven't already, man, like the video. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this movie. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. You know the goal. And you ain't going to want to miss this full length reaction. So if you into those, Patreon link is in the description down below. FRR is out. Peace. Peace.